Hey folks, welcome back to the 59th Let's Play, or 60th Let's Play. Oh my god, we're on number 60. We're at a jello alert level 2. I think he's pretty much asleep now. Um, I was going to stop start this after I got to Genda's office, but I'm a dork and got excited, so I will see you when we get there. Okay, we got healed up. I bought three small kit med kits, three medium med kits. Cost me about $310,000 or some crap. So I really did like break myself. I got like a hundred and like 10,000 yen left enough for a couple days worth of work. But, um, I think it's worth it. Cause just in case I don't want, I don't want any sort of, um, thing happen to me in the middle of a cutscene Cause I don't have it. Come on, let's go over here. Let's pick up the bat. All right. We got rid of all the guys attacking me. Let's go into the Genda office and see what we can find out. Maybe it'll be a bunch of cutscenes. I really am enjoying the story here. A lot. There you are, Tuck. Kaito-san. You're here early. Early bird nabs the murderer, yeah? Hoshino-kun dug up some dirt on Hashki. Alright. Ooh, hey. Hey, sorry, I'm telling you. I heard you. the Kyore clan attacked Mafia last night. You already talked to her? Yeah. She seemed happy, probably because you came to the rescue. Well, yeah, I would totally like I drop I drop Sonnet like in a hot second right now, right now. Makes me a horrible boyfriend. Yagami san. Is Genda sensei still out of commission? No, he'll be here this afternoon. He didn't sound very energetic when we spoke, though. Gotcha. Anyway, back to what you asked me last night. I looked into Hashki's murder. Hold up. I want to hear this too. Toru Hashiki, former vice director of the ADDC. 51 years old at the time of his death six months ago. Found lying face down in a Kamarocho back alley in the middle of the night. He was unconscious, horribly beaten. He died in the hospital three weeks later. It took that long? Yes. Apparently he was comatose the entire time. Doesn't sound quite as premeditated as Kajahiro was making it seem. Were there any witnesses? Not to the crime itself, no. However, quite a few people saw Hashki in a drunken argument beforehand. With a man in a black raincoat. And that's all we know about the culprit. A black raincoat? As far as I can tell, the police never found him, but who knows how hard they looked, right? And, well, that's all I could find. Little more than a general overview. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. This is great for now. Kajihira claimed Hashki's murder was premeditated, yes? Huh? Yeah, that's right. But there's no evidence to support it whatsoever. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If the culprit intended to kill Hashki, wouldn't he have finished the job? Seems kind of sloppy. On the other hand, if it was just an unfortunate run-in, the circumstances would make more sense. I don't know. I think it's the other way around. Huh? If you ask me, whoever killed Hashki was a freaking pro. What makes you say that? Yes, do tell. Just look at the end result. Hashki died and whoever's responsible got away with it. Now imagine if the cops found him dead in that alley. That alone would be cause for investigation. If he's just unconscious, though, it's easier to just call it a street brawl and move on. I mean, that's just another day in Kamurocho, right? True enough. I suppose the incident never made the news because his death didn't come until so much later. Despite how well known he was in the scientific community, that is. So the killer beat Hoshki until he sustained a fatal wound, then backed off? Is such a thing even possible? It is if you're a pro. <laughs> Guys that good totally exist. It's just rare to see it happen. Know what I mean? Not sure I do, actually. I admit it would make sense. But we can't say for sure without evidence. More or less. What kind of evidence do you mean? Something like an investigation report. I want to know the cause of death. Which I guess means another visit to our old friend Ayabe, huh? 
I'm way ahead of you. Called him myself last night, but, uh... But what? His hands are tied because of all this Kuroiwa business. <laughs> Should have known. We got someone else coming in his place, though. Meeting at the same place as before. Lamont. You're gonna come, right? Sure. Let's do it. New info's Benedict case file. Toru Hashiki murder. Persons of interest updated. All right, Toru Hashiki murder. Um, Vice Director ADC died after being assaulted. There's, oh yeah, these are all the people we know. Let's see, as a brief rundown, ADDC Vice Director Toru Hashiki, age 51, was found unconscious after he was struck down by an unknown assailant. Many witnesses claimed to see the man wearing a black raincoat somewhere in the vicinity right before the attack occurred. Hashiki was carried to the hospital and passed away after being comatose for three weeks. However, his death went largely unnoticed by the media, purportedly due to the lapse of time between the actual incident and the moment he died. What I actually need to do is set the settings and see if I can turn the music down. Nope, you can't separate it. Okay, so let's look at skill points really quick because I want gluttony. Gluttony. Um, not seeing it though. Oh wait, it's under special. You unlocked a new skill. That's what I wanted to go. Oh, I should have hit the right button. I didn't know. Okay, best friends, best friends forever, forever, okay. Ooh, bottomless stomach. Um, let's see, I need, oh, so many, so close. So we're gonna hold off then. Let's pick the map again, pick out, oh, we have to go outside and head to Lamont. All right, sorry, I'll see you later. Come on, move it, Kaido. You're being late. Time is money, sir. Looks like we got some company. Mm-hmm. Hold up. These guys are Matsugane. Weird. I don't think they're too happy with us. Oh, yeah? Well, what gave it away? Maybe they think we're working with the Kyore clan. Either way, it doesn't look like they want to talk it over. Matsugane family. All right. Let's roll, talk. All right, here we are at Lamont after being attacked by a couple gang. Dull aluminum this time. God, we haven't been down here in a while, actually. Hey, buddy. R1, baby. All we gotta do now is meet up with Ayabe's boy. Any idea what he looks like? Nope. Bet he'll talk to us first, though. Let's hope so. Well, time to start looking. Woo, 150 more points. I think I only need like 350 points left to buy that. Now I'm gonna go buy all the foods from all the people. Well, hello, buddy. Welcome. Can I get you a drink? They're all free. Of course you can. I would like a Cassis Orange. Ah, it's the spot. Back to it. Thank Um, excuse me, sir. Hmm? Are you talking to me? Sit. Seat next to me. Hurry! Hmm? Do I know you, or...? This is no time for jokes. I'm not? 
Can you please? Now, are you okay doing this here? Or would you rather go somewhere a little quieter? Well, can we slow down for a second? No, we can't. Let's get this over with. Yeah, but doing it right here? Uh, sorry? Alright, listen, you're very pretty and you clearly know what you're about, but I'm more of a take it slow kind of guy, you know? I don't like to rush into these things. Yakumi-kun, can you seriously not tell it's me? Wait, uh, who? What the heck? Mafuyu? I hate to break it to you, but when a woman comes on that strong, she's not after what you think she is. Right. Uh, anyway, what are you doing here? I'm here on behalf of Ayabe. Wait, but... really? Why did Ayabe send you? He gave me a call this morning out of the blue. Said he needed me to help you in his stead. Here's the investigation report on Hoshki's murder. This is what you want, right? You took it from the prosecutor's office? Isn't that, you know, problematic? Hence the disguise. Think it's okay to hand it over here? This is really intense. All right, try to stay calm. It's okay. Think of it as a thank you for saving me yesterday. One more thing. Regarding Prosecutor Izumita. Hmm? They're planning to arrest you. Under suspicion of murdering Shintani-sensei. I suggest you figure something out quick. Will do. Thanks. Bye then. Who was that? She was smoking. That was Ayabe's replacement. Huh? What do we got here? All right, we found Ayabe's replacement. This is the investigation report from Hoshki's murder. Mafuyu stole it from the prosecutor's office. Mafuyu Chan? Are you saying that woman was her? Yeah, I just made the same mistake. All right, let's go have one more drink because I can do this drunkenly. I am a, I am an empty, empty gut for drinks. So I think we're gonna do cast this orge. Um, and then a wine, and then a coffee. Oh, I still can't because of the health thing. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Let's do it. Good stuff. Back to it. All right, I'm a little tanked. I got five bottles, of five drinks in me. Now, let's investigate the documents. You more. should check this stuff out, Talk. This is Hashiki's resume. Looks like he was pretty well educated. They brought him on as vice director four years ago. Meaning, he was already with the ADDC when you were busting your ass defending Okubo. Seems like he and Kido were responsible for deciding how much money to give each project. Hashiki had more influence than I realized. That, that's, and that's why Kajira lured him over to his side. This here is a map of the crime scene. Hashiki was found lying here. An hour before that, he was seen drinking in a cabaret. This one, place called the Queen Rouge. They charge an arm and a leg, but hell if they don't make bank off it. Was Hashiki drinking alone while he was there? Nah, looks like one of his colleagues was with him. Wait, it was that guy, Shono. So the two of them came all the way from the center just to grab a few drinks. The question is, why? Beats me. Shono's the lead researcher in 89. He seems to report to Kido. After they left the club, Shono grabbed a cab by himself. He claims he went back to the center and had a chat with Kido. 
The taxi company's records back that up. Meaning Shono has an alibi. Kido too. Yep. As for Hashki, he had an argument with a man in a black raincoat. Then they found him on the ground. Shit beat out of him. Three weeks later, he was dead. That's horrible. The cause of death was a cerebral contusion due to blunt trauma. The culprit hit him 14, maybe 15 times. No fingerprints, so he must have been wearing gloves. All right. I think we understand how it all went down. So, what's our next move? I want to take a little field trip. See for ourselves where they found Hushki. The Queen Rouge is right near there too. All right, investigate documents, Kaito. Let me see where we are at points-wise. Let's hit it. All right, let's take a look. I have, ooh, I have enough to do it. Let us do it, my friends. Let us get five thousand skill points for a bottomless stomach hell yeah now i'm just gonna start buying out whole um restaurants of everything so i can get those points and just so i can eventually say i ate everything on the board because i'm like that that's how i roll all right here we go to the steakhouse we'll make it big we'll, we'll get a big set of food welcome sir all right Oh yeah, this is awesome, guys. Confirm the order of everything else. Ah, it's the spot. <laughs> I'm gonna get fat. That's okay. Thank you. All right. Sec, buddy, I gotta wait for them to all connect so I can then get like the recognition that I ate the whole store. It should give me that. There we go, conquered Ikinari steak. So let's look at the next place we need to go. Wait, why can't I do that? That's weird. All right, so um. I think, where do we need to go next? Down here? Okay, folks, I'm gonna take us down close to there, but we will probably stop before we hit the next cutscene because I think we're out of time. So I'll be right back. Okay, folks, we're gonna wrap it up here. We're right at the next entryway. I don't think it'll be too short an LP. Until next time, take care.